afternoon and thanks for joining us. Randine is off today. Our top story, the B.C. Liberals making another attempt today to make the HST more palatable to British Columbians. If the tax is approved in a referendum, seniors and people with children under the age of 18 will be getting some financial compensation and the HST itself will drop a couple of percentage points. Our Legislative Bureau Chief Keith Baldry joins us now with all the details. They came out just about an hour ago. Keith, run us through them. Yeah, uh, Sophie, uh, Premier Christy Clark promised well, what she called a bold fix to the HST. Is it bold? You be the judge. It's certainly more than one measure. Uh, a number of measures a number of us had been predicting, perhaps, so this is going to take the shape of what we saw rolled out today by Finance Minister Kevin Falcon. So here's what uh, the government is proposing to do with the HST if it survives in the referendum. First of all, uh, families will be getting checks of $175 per ch child under 18. I noticed press gallery reporters were comparing notes of who was going to get the most money in that but in the lockup uh, going over this. Also, uh, the HST will be fa uh, cut by two points, two percentage points, phased in uh, over a number of years. Starting next July, uh, go down one point, uh, the, the provincial portion will be cut, and then a further cut in 2014 to bring it down to 10% from 12%. Also, how do you pay for this? Well, the corporate tax, and this is something you haven't really heard the, from the Liberals since they've been in power, the corporate tax will be increased by two percentage points, and that's going to uh, provide a lot of the funding that will disappear with that HST rate cuts. So as you see, uh, basically a three-prong approach. Is it bold enough? Will it sell itself to the public? Uh, that remains to be seen, but certainly some uh, provocative action from uh, the BC Liberals today. And also now we're going to hear from uh, uh, Adrian Dix, the NDP leader. After Adrian Dix uh, makes his point that he just made with reporters a short time ago, Kevin Falcon, the finance minister, is going to be sitting in my chair to respond to your question, Sophie. So here's Adrian Dix just a few moments ago talking to Press Gallery reporters. In 2001, then in 2005, then in 2009, the government, after all those elections, brought in major initiatives to reduce taxes paid by large corporations in all those elections that they did not mention, did not campaign on the election campaign. So what they have to say about the future is uh, not credible. Remember, in 2000, in, they're talking about a balanced budget by 2013 with all these numbers. They started with fiction. This is all fiction, and they're ending with fiction. All right, well, as Keith mentioned, Finance Minister Kevin Falcon now in Keith's seat to talk more about these uh, changes. Minister, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the Premier calls it help for families, but others yeah. will no doubt call it vote buying. Uh, will this be enough to convince voters to support the HST in the referendum? Well, what it does, uh, Sophie, is respond to what we heard from listeners. We uh, it went out and had the largest public consultation campaign in the history of the province of British Columbia. We had 275,000 British Columbians come in and tell us what they thought about how we could improve HST, and this was a very common theme. I think what it does is rebalances things. It makes sure that business is going to pay a little bit because they're a significant beneficiary of the HST, but it also makes sure that families and low-income seniors are going to be more than whole as a result of the changes we make. People and every Every income bracket will come out ahead as a result of the reductions uh, to 10%. The rebate checks would certainly seem attractive, uh, Minister Falcon, but will they only happen if the referendum goes through? Uh, that is true, for sure, and and obviously uh, we're doing this because on balance we know that the HST, even at a lowered 10% rate, and even with the rebate checks that we will send out to low-income seniors and to families, is still much better fiscally for the province than going back to the 12% GST plus PST. It actually has a worse impact on the budget, almost three billion dollars of a hit uh, over the next three years. And so, you know, really from a finance minister point of view, this is not just the right thing to do to respond to what. What we heard from the public but it also makes a lot of fiscal sense for us uh, because the alternative frankly of going backwards is a really severe fiscal impact when would these rebate checks actually start arriving in the mail if this all happens well, uh, our goal is to have all the rebate checks out by the end of the year. Uh, and again, that would go to uh, low-income seniors with incomes up to $40,000. They would get $175 each. And for families, uh, for every child they have under 18, $175 per child. So for the typical family with two kids, that's a $350 transition payment, which bridges them to the first rate cut that kicks in on July 1st of next year. So then what is the plan, Minister, if the referendum is rejected, if the HST is rejected? rejected. 
Well, if the HST is rejected, then obviously we will have to go back to the PST plus the GST at 12%, and uh, it's going to not be without some challenges. Uh, it's going to make it very difficult for us to balance the budget in 2013-14 because uh, even with the 7% the plus 5% uh, GST, it has a significant impact because the tax is less efficient. It reimposes a whole bunch of costs on the small business community that under a harmonized sales tax are stripped out. It reimposes those and it makes it very difficult, but we will honor the decision of the public, whatever it is, and we will make sure we do our very best job to implement that, even though it will be challenging. We will certainly uh, uphold whatever the public decides. Minister, the campaign is already underway uh, in advance of the referendum, so now with these changes, are you going to have to spend more money to uh, on, on both sides of the equation for this campaign? Well, no, but I think it makes the, the, the choice really clear for the public. The choice really is, do you want to go back to a two-tax system of a 7% PST and a 5% GST, which is 12%, or do you want to go to an improved HST that will see that rate march down to 10% over the next few years and will include transition checks for families and low and modest income seniors to bridge them over to that rate cut in July 1st of next year? And I think that's a pretty clear choice for the public, and we will be guided by whatever the public believes is the right way to go. We'll see what the voters think. Thank you so much for joining us yeah. today. Finance Thanks very Minister much for having me. Kevin Falcon joining us from Victoria.